Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to set up a VPN or virtual private network on your Android phone. Now a lot of people need to use a VPN for work, and what that does is allows you to create a secure connection between your phone and the company's internet or intranet, and it allows them to transfer secure data and not allow anyone else to see it. You also may want to use this if you're on public Wi-Fi, you want to use a secure VPN connection, and there's a couple other reasons you'd want to use it as well, but I wanted to show you how to simply connect it to a VPN using Android. Now this is stock Android, this is a Nexus 6P uh, in frost white, this particular one, and this will be basically a general idea on how to actually connect your phone. So let me go ahead and unlock it here. And what you need to do is go to your menu up here at the top, once you're in your menu, now again, if you don't have a Nexus or something running stock Android, this is Android Marshmallow, Android 6.0, you'll need to actually figure out where this is located. But in this case, it's for me, it's under more near the Wi-Fi Bluetooth data usage. So we'll hit more and then you'll see there's VPN. Now the catch is you'll need a VPN server. There's a lot of places you can actually pay for them monthly. There's apps you can use also that will set this up. So this is a general setup. If you're using Cisco AnyConnect, they have a separate app that you usually use instead of doing it this way. So let's go ahead and add one and we just hit the plus here and we can name it whatever we want. We'll just call it my VPN. And then you have the type of server it is. There's different various levels of security depending on which one you use, but uh, PPTP is pretty common, so we'll just use that for this demonstration. Now, all I did was find a server online that's free. I don't know if it's secure or not, but I just wanted to use it for a demonstration to show you how it works. So I don't know that you necessarily want to trust this one. I don't, I don't know the company or I'm not familiar with them, but just wanted to show you how this works. So go ahead and put in an actual server name here. So we'll do that. Now that we have the server name inputted, we'll go ahead and hit save and it should save the VPN. Now, if we want to connect to the VPN, we have a couple different options. We have always, always on VPN, but right now we just want to tap on the VPN and it will ask us for our username and password. So let's go ahead and put that in. Once you have your username and password in place, just go ahead and save the information if you want to, or don't, if you don't want to keep it insecure that way, go ahead and hit connect and it will connect and it's connected. Now you can see there's a key in the upper right hand corner here, and that lets you know let it focus there, we'll let, let you know that it's actually connected through a VPN. Now that you have the VPN connected, what we want to do is try and go to the internet and we'll actually use that connection to do that. So we'll go ahead and go to my website and now we're using the VPN to use the information to go to that website. It just keeps your phone more secure, especially on a wireless network that's public and available to a lot of people. Otherwise, I don't know that you'd need to use it if you're at home, but if you have workplaces or things that use it, be sure to check it out there and use it while you're in public domain, especially if you have sensitive information. The last thing you want to know how to do is actually disconnect your VPN. So again, go up here to the top, go back to where you were, and again, go to VPN. It says connected we can disconnect and it shows different information, how many packets were sent and received. So go ahead and hit disconnect. So that's pretty much it, pretty simple. And that hopefully will help you if you need to secure your phone through a VPN or for work or whatever reason. So if you have any other questions, comments, suggestions, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron, I'll see you next time.